What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and as you can see Rust finally got the update for the skin store and I'm super excited about this. It actually makes me want to play the game again. So today I'm going to be showing you guys just a little walkthrough of the skin store, show what all it has in the locker too and I'm going to show you how much everything costs, what all these bundles include. At the end of the video I'll even go into the game and check out a couple of like the base items. Of course I'm not going to go in and hop on and get a metal kit because I have nothing, I haven't played the game. But I'll hop on and show you like the rock, they added a new rock skin and everything, but let's let's hop into the skin store here. So the first thing here is the Shinobi. So you can press view collection here and see what all this includes, but I just wanted to show the price, it's 2000 RC. So it's gonna cost you about $20 if you want this one bundle, which I think is kind of crazy, but Oh well, I guess if you really want skins that bad, you're gonna pay for it. So view collection. So you can buy the whole bundle or you can buy individual items here. And you can see all the prices underneath them. So like if you never use the sword or something and you just, you don't wanna get the skin for it, you can just say screw that and go and buy the bow. But I personally think this outfit's gonna be super nice for the nighttime. Burlap too, you can get it right off the start. Just get some cloth and make that. This one's 980, so it's not as much as this bundle. And I don't know why, because this bundle's definitely better and like something that more people would use. So I don't know why it's cheaper than that one, but whatever. These skins look pretty nice though. The metal kits here, I like that. I like that a lot. And this AK one too, I like that. And then we got the playtime set here for 970 RC. I was looking forward to having like items in game having skins for item in game like i know we got the garage door and that's cool but i wanted some good furnace skins and everything these aren't really the best in my opinion it looks like you're playing at a freaking mcdonald's or something but i mean i'll take it for the time being i guess there's a tiger stripe bundle and that's 450 rc and i like this one a lot it's pretty much your whole kit that you're going to be wearing and i think this is definitely going to help you blend in if you're like trying to have gunfights from the trees or like a super grassy area I think this will definitely help you blend in so that might actually be beneficial in game for you not just look cool and then this one I'm super excited about because of the rock I know it sounds crazy but I wanted a rock skin for so long because that's something that you have like as soon as you spawn in so I wanted a rock skin it's 970 RC so here it is you can press triangle to preview items too if you want to look at it before you buy it and I'm going to be super excited to have that. This is the roadside kit bundle instead of like the full metal kit like that one. So if you're not on that rich side yet and you're more in the broke road sign kits, this is the way to go right here. You even get a nice little crossbow skin too. It looks pretty clean. Overall, I think they did pretty good on all the skins they made for this. I think what they could have done better on is this bundle. Make it where you're... <laughs> You're not looking like you're playing in a McDonald's. I don't know, that just, it bothers me kinda, I'm not gonna lie. So you can go to the collections tab on the top or you can scroll through clothing, weapons, tools, items. You can go and just kinda sort through them and look at the different items that you'd want. I personally wish they would've added more tools though, cause all we have is the rock skin. I wish they would've added like a pickaxe one or a jackhammer. The jackhammer one especially, that one would be sick. So that was the skin store, here's the locker. In the locker, you can kind of just see what all skins you already own. So here's mine for pre-ordering the game. Now I'm gonna show you guys an example here. If you go and buy a skin, so I bought the first bundle here. So when you go back to the locker, it will show everything that you just got. Shows everything you own. That bow looks pretty clean, I can't lie. So next, I'm gonna be hopping into the game and I'm gonna show you a couple of the things you can get off the rip, like some of this right here. I'm just gonna have to gather up cloth and I'll show you what it looks like. But yeah, that's everything they added with this new update with the skin store. They said in the patch notes that um, they added a couple surprises in this update along with the skin store. I don't really know what that is, but I guess we'll be finding it out soon. I'm sure people start releasing videos and crap everywhere when they find out what the surprise is. Oh my god, they gave my guy facial hair in the update. And hair on his head. My guy was completely bald. He's actually got hair now. Thank you, Rust, for the update. I'm not a bald man anymore. 
Okay, so with the update, they actually made the shop system a lot better on the map. Because it used to be terrible trying to find, like, when there's two shops on top of each other, you'd have to, like, try to move it perfectly to get on top of one of them. And now you open it up and it pulls up a little menu with them all. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot, actually. They're slowly improving the game here and there. All right, but here's the rock I wanted to show off in game. Just kind of want to see what it looked like low key. I wish it was a little more detailed. It looks like someone spray painted a rock kind of, but I mean, I'll take it. I'll take that. Here we go. I'm going to start making these new skins as well on the burlap gear. The game almost looks prettier. I can't lie. Like the lighting, I think maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. Something definitely looks different here. But could just be because my server's low pop right now, but hitting this X feels a lot more responsive this time. Something's definitely different here. It's like the lighting looks different. Here we go. Put it all on. There we go. That's what we look like with it on. Definitely looks better than just normal burlap, I can tell you that. All right, here's the bow. Looks pretty clean. About to get in the bow fight here right now. I only made a couple arrows just to show it off, so I don't have enough to fight this guy. What's up with it? Yeah, run back to outpost, pussy. Oh, they already tried out the new doors and everything in here. Oh, that's a shotgun trap. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Ooh, wee. Oh my god, I about pooped my pants. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, on that note, we're gonna call it good. That's it for this video. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys are enjoying the skin store and how you feel about this update so far. I personally like it. I think the update made the game look better, honestly. I don't know, I might be crazy. I haven't been playing the game that much, but I don't know. Let me... Let me know what you guys think. So leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll be posting more Rust content soon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.